time on the road. And you know what? You're coming with me. Let's do this. David, aka RV Jedi, and you know, in my RVing life, I have stayed at a couple of different places overnight. Um, I've stayed at Walmart, I've stayed at a truck stop, but by far, one of my very best places that I've ever stayed overnight is at a restaurant called Cracker Barrel. Now, not everybody has a Cracker Barrel uh, in their market. However, if you're on a trip and you're making a drive, you want to search out to see if there are going to be any Cracker Barrels on your way, especially if you need a great place to stay overnight uh, and a, a safe, clean, uh, free place to stay on your route. So if you're on the road and you need to stay overnight, Cracker Barrel is, of course, a great option. But there's some things you need to know. Here now, my top five things you want to remember whenever staying overnight at a Cracker Barrel. Number five, keep it clean. You know, when you get to a Cracker Barrel restaurant, usually the parking is in the back. Uh, and when you get there, you want to make sure that you're keeping your spot very clean. Make sure as you wrap up and uh, leave the next day, you walk around your rig, double check it, make sure you're not leaving anything because they do this for us, us RVers, us travelers, and we wanna make sure that we show them the proper respect by keeping the spot that we stayed in clean. Number four, call and check in. Now, most of the time when you're staying at a Cracker Barrel, uh, you want to get there during business hours. You want to check in with the manager, call ahead if you can. Just make sure that they are providing uh, RV parking in the back. Uh, it's a nice courtesy thing to do. Uh, and when I get to a Cracker Barrel, I usually go in, double check with the manager. I get something to eat, more on that a little bit later. But I just want them to know that I am staying there uh, in my RV uh, and it's just a little extra extra uh, level of security. So always make sure you check in, call before you stop overnight. Number three on the list, no RV spreading. This isn't a New York City subway. You want to make sure when you park uh, there that you keep everything intact. If you have slides, don't pull them out. Uh, if you have chairs, you don't want to just sit outside like you're setting up a camp. This is a overnight spot for RVers. You know, when you get there, usually all of the parking is in the back. So you want to find the RV parking. You want to get there. You want to keep your slides in uh, and just make it real easy easy for other RVers to park next to you. I have to admit, I've been at a couple of places uh, and I've come in and uh, there was nobody next to me and then the next morning somebody came in uh, and they were so close to me it was hard to even open my door. So make sure you don't spread out, you just get in, get out, keep your rig all nice and uh, tucked away uh, and then that makes it easy for everybody else who might be overnighting at Cracker Barrel with you. Number two on the list, hey, order something. Yep, uh, one of the things that you really want to do when you get to uh, Cracker Barrel, it's a great restaurant, it has great food, uh, to show them a little love, you want to order something. Sometimes you uh, get there at night, you can order off the dinner menu. I am so beat, uh, but I'm uh, doing the etiquette thing and grabbing something to eat here. Um, it's Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Some of this stuff looks like it'd give me a heart attack. Uh, but I'm going to probably check this place out in the morning for breakfast before I continue on. But right now, I'm just going to eat and then crash. If you're there uh, after the uh, restaurant has closed, uh, when you wake up in the morning, try and order something. Uh, most of the time, that's what I do. And you have to check right now because of all of the situations. Uh, one of the last times I was uh, at a Cracker Barrel, uh, it was during the pandemic. And what they did was uh, they took the order uh, on the phone. Uh, and actually, I got lucky. They dropped it off right outside in the back at my RV.
Okay, so this is what they're doing here at Cracker Barrel. You can't get in yet. You still have to um, social distance and stuff. They're not fully open until next Friday. But uh, you place your order. You can do it online or uh, call in or in this case just go in. It was just me and one server. Uh, I placed my order uh, and then uh, they are dropping it off at the RV for me. Cool. I'm staying at a Cracker Barrel and ideally in the morning you want to stop in and pick something up and uh, say kind of thanks for letting me park overnight and um, with everything going on right now they are not allowing folks in the store which is probably a good idea. Uh, I did have a mask when I went in to order um, but I'm having breakfast. Uh, they delivered it here uh, to my RV and uh, I'm going to eat something good. Order something from the restaurant before you have to get on the road uh, and get driving. It's a nice way to say thank you uh, to Cracker Barrel for providing these spots for overnight camping. Hey, if you like what you're seeing on the channel, please click and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. That way, whenever a new video comes out, you'll be notified right away. And the number one thing you want to always remember when overnighting at Cracker Barrel, respect the process. Yeah. These guys, again, are doing this for RVers to stay overnight. Yeah, there's a little trade-off. You, you usually go and you, you buy something inside and that's nice. Uh, but to provide this service for RVers and travelers is so, so uh, amazing. I can't say thank you enough. It is a great and safe place for you to go uh, overnight when you're RVing and on a long trip. Sometimes you just want someplace nice and safe to crash for the night uh, and that's great. This is not a place where you're going to set up camp and stay for multiple days. It's really just for overnight. So respect that. Uh, again, you want to make sure that you keep your RV all tucked away uh, and you want to buy something uh, while you're at uh, Cracker Barrel to say thank you. Um, and make sure you pass along the information to other RVers. You know, there are a lot of different um, Cracker Barrels throughout the country uh, and if you run into one that's really good, let other RVers know. But again, respect the process. Stay just one night uh, and keep everything nice, tidy, and clean. That way, when other RVers are out on the road, uh, they'll have the same great experience as you did. <laughs>